But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa to acquire knowledge and said to him, zidni ilma and say, My Lord, increase me in knowledge. And there are numerous ayat and ahadith that is either a commandment from Allah or an encouragement. Let us look at some of those. طلب العلم فريدة على كل مسلم. Seeking knowledge is obligatory upon every Muslim. هل يستوي الذين يعلمون والذين لا يعلمون? Are those with knowledge equal to those without knowledge? And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in Surah Al-Mujadila: يرفع الله الذين آمنوا منكم والذين أوتوا العلم درجات والله بما تعملون خبير. Allah will raise the status of those who believe among you. And who are given knowledge in ranks. Verily and exclusively those, only those who fear Allah amongst his slaves are those with knowledge. And we've covered this hadith many, many times. Mu'awiyah narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Whomsoever Allah intends good for, He makes him comprehend and understand the deen. And when you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will give you increasing of knowledge. And this is one of the key things. When we increase our taqwa, then you will find doors of knowledge open to us. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Ankabut, in the last verse, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَهُمْ سُبُلَنَا Whoever strives in my path, in one of my paths, I will guide him to many of my paths. مَنْ سَلَقَ طَرِيقًا يَبْتَغِي فِيهِ عِلْمًا سَحَّلَ اللَّهُ طَرِيقًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ Whosoever goes in a path seeking knowledge, Allah makes his path to Jannah easy. Subhanallah. One of the easiest paths to Jannah is seeking knowledge. إِذَا مَاتَ الْإِنسَانِ إِنْ قَطَعَ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثَةِ And everyone knows this. When a man dies, all of his good deeds come to an end, except three. And one of them is what? وَعِلْمٍ يُنْتَفَعُ بِهِ Beneficial knowledge. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam famously says, الدُّنْيَا مَلْعُونَةٌ مَلْعُونٌ مَا فِيهَا This world is cursed, and whatever is in it is cursed. إِلَّا ذِكْرَ اللَّهِ Except the remembrance of Allah وَمَا وَالْآهُ أَوْ عَالِمًا أَوْ مُتَعَلِّمًا And what is conducive to that? For one who has knowledge or who is acquiring knowledge مَنْ خَرَدَ فِي طُلَبَ الْعِلْمِ فَهُوَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ حَتَّى يَرْجِعْ Whosoever goes in the path seeking knowledge then he is indeed in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until he returns and we all love this term في سبيل الله المجاهد في سبيل الله الجهاد في سبيل الله الحجة في سبيل الله but the one who is seeking knowledge فهو في سبيل الله then he is in the path of Allah when he is on the path of Allah seeking knowledge حتى يرجع until he returns سبحان الله بحمد سبحان الله العظيم the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم says the angels lower their wings over the seeker of knowledge being pleased with what he does the inhabitants of the heavens and the earth and even the fish in the depth of the oceans seek forgiveness for him. Subhanallah. وَفَضُّ alim عَلَى الْعَابِدِ And the superiority of the learned man, the alim, the scholar, over the devout worshipper. كَفَضْلِ الْقَمَرِ عَلَى سَائِلِ الْكَوَاكِبِ is like the moon over the stars. Meaning the moon and the light of the moon is more magnificent. It enlightens the night and reaches more of the earth than the star you want to attain and leave a legacy behind seek knowledge my brother seek knowledge my sister al ulama warathatul anbiya and the scholars are the heirs of the prophets who bequeath neither dinar nor dirham but only that of knowledge and he who acquires it has in fact acquired an abundant portion of knowledge this is a scary one. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa says, this is recorded in Sahih Muslim, Verily, Allah does not take away knowledge by snatching it from people, but He takes away knowledge with the death of the ulama, the scholars. 
such that when he leaves no scholar left, the people will turn to the ignorant as their leaders. Allahumma sa'al. Then they are asked to give religious judgments without knowledge. Thus they are led astray and lead others astray. Allahumma sa'al. May Allah protect us all from this category of people. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. فَخِيَارُكُمْ فِي الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ خِيَارُكُمْ فِي الْإِسْلَامِ إِذَا فَقِهُوا and the best of you in Jahiliyyah are the best of you in Islam provided you know, provided you understand, provided you act upon what you now know. Al-Imam Malik rahimahullah famously said Al-ilmu yu'ta wa la yati. Knowledge, ilm is visited and it should not visit. Yani, you should not expect knowledge to come to you, rather you make the steps to go and seek knowledge. Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal rahimullah beautifully remarked people are in need of knowledge more than food and drink because they are only because they only need food and drink once or twice a day but they need knowledge with every breath they take Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah he said whenever I set myself the task to learn I realize how little I know and the more I learn the more I realize how ignorant I am, Subhanallah, and Subhanallah. And Imam Ash Shafi'i had a photographic memory in a young age. He would memorize large portions from the ulama of his time. And he grew up to become one of the mightiest scholars of Islam. But he is saying, What? The more he learned, he realized how ignorant he is because knowledge is so vast, it's like the ocean. It's like dipping your finger in the ocean and what remains on your finger is the knowledge that you possess and the remaining water in the ocean is what is out there. And he continues and says, when a Muslim is seeking knowledge for the sake of Allah, with every increase in knowledge, he decreases in arrogance, subhanAllah. So knowledge should make us humble. Such a result is inevitable, however, as human knowledge in itself is limited thus how can one maintain his arrogance when faced with such a reality abdullah ibn al-mubarak one of the famous names in islam al-abd al-zaid al-mujahid he once said i do not know anything more virtuous after nubuwa yani prophethood than sharing knowledge subhanallah umar ibn abdul aziz the great grandson of umar ibn al-khattab the khalifa and Amir al Mu'minin. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz was also a Khalifa and a major name in Islam. He said, Man ta'abbada bi ghayri ilm kada ma yufsidu akthara min ma yuslih. The one who worships without knowledge, he will cause more harm and benefit. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam condemned ignorance and said, Allah hates the one who is rude and greedy who shouts in the marketplace, who is a rotten course by night and works like a donkey by day, knowledgeable in the worldly matters and ignorant of matters of the hereafter. How many of us, how many of us know about gadgets, about apps, about laptops and computers and games and footballers and celebrities, yet the minutest of things like how to read the Quran or what Surah Al-Ikhlas means or what Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la means they are ignorant of that when we ponder over the situation of the Muslims today in many Muslim countries we'll find that we have knowledge pertaining to daily lives and interests however we lack knowledge of the deen we have people going into businesses we have people who are getting married we have people selling we have people even introducing Islamic marketing or Islamic businesses or Islamic finances and things like this but they themselves are lacking in the knowledge in the fiqhi sense and other areas where they need to possess this knowledge that's why I said earlier seeking knowledge is obligatory upon every Muslim the one who's going to get married he needs to know about marriage the one who's going to buying and selling he needs to know about buying and selling what did Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say what, is Allah, what did Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say regarding ibadah regarding business regarding marriage some of us you will find cutting hair in the haram way 
vast majority of us are actually preoccupied with all the worldly matters and we have forsaken the circles of knowledge we have forsaken going to the feet of the ulama the scholars we have forsaken going to the gatherings in the masajid and reading islamic literature we have forsaken this we even find many of us are very eloquent in the dunya sense but we don't have a clue about such basic knowledge on even the seerah it is shocking it is truly sad that the muslim ummah are in the state of ignorance in a day and age where everything is within our reach and yet we find ourselves in a place where we are complaining about the state of the ummah when truly the answer is already there in the quran a scholar once said the greatest weapon the enemy has over us it's not their military strength it's not their weapons it's not their airplanes and fighter jets and guns but the ignorance of the muslims for surely if the muslims knew that allah is the true believer then he will never be sad nor grieve wala tahinu wala tahzanu wa antum al-ahlawna in kuntum mu'minin do not be saddened and do not grieve for you will surely be dominant for you will surely be victorious and be supreme if you are truly believers kam min fi'atin qalilatin ghalabat fi'atan kathiratan bi'idnillah wallahu ma'as sabirin how often has a smaller party overcome a larger party by the permission of allah and allah is with the patient ones